This is Primary Physical Education, Hula Hoop Stations, by Mr. Dean at Ulla Muller Elementary School. All right, this is a little sneak peek of what each station will actually look like and the equipment set up for each station. Um, this will go through all six. In a minute, I will explain um, in a video what you're going to do at each station. But like I said, this is just a quick little look at each station, how they're set up with the hula hoops, with the, um, the marker boards I put up that has what the students are doing. I try to keep it very short and very simple for them. Um, but this is just a view of all six stations. Again, you can switch the station. You can switch one, two, whatever. These are just some ideas. All right, these are hula hoop stations I have set up for elementary school, physical education. They'll be grades one through three. Um, I have six total stations. This first one here is hula hoop waist or neck. They can just do the traditional hula hoop um, around those two body parts. Squad station one set up. Station two, this is hula hoop jump rope, where they're going to actually jump through the hula hoop. Um, they just learned jump roping, so they will be... Um, familiar with this <clears throat> and they were able to try this out as well earlier in class All right station three here is ankle hula hoops um, They put it around their ankle and they sort of go in circles with it and use their other foot to jump over um, They have done the ankle um, Jumpers, it's another PE equipment. They've used already so they are familiar with this as well number five um, station five is long rope run through. Oh, I'm sorry, this is four. Um, we just learned long roping, um, so they will be running through this, and they're in, in about groups of three or four. So that is number four. Station's arm circles hula hoop. They will use their arms to obviously make circles. I want to make sure I tell the students to try to put their fingers up in the air. That way it doesn't come flying off their arms. They tend to do that on purpose, so I try to give a warning or two. Uh, if they do it more times than one, then they go back to normal hula hooping instead of doing the arm circles. That is station five. Station six is the hula hoop toss. Um, I have four different sets right here, and their objective is to toss it, which we went over previously in Phys Ed, around one of those cones. They have two hula hoops apiece. I did different colors. If I was able and I had the equipment to do all one color, I would, because kids of that age are going to fight over certain colors, so um, we'll make sure that we get that situated when it comes to. And that's just where they warm up and they do their jump roping warm up in their squads. The poly spots are so they have the exact distance away. It really helps them um, work on personal space as well. But these are the hula hoop stations that we'll be doing in PE class today. Never your... Hey, Monty, big arm circles, please. Good. Good job, Joelle. All right, Nishan, you're next. You did really good last time. Very nice. All right. Oh, back behind the shun. Good job. Go ahead, Destiny. Tonight you have to run through, sweetie. You gotta run through, okay? Big arm circles, Amani. Good. Joel, whenever you're ready, run through. Ankle. Everybody point to your next station. I would like you to skip to your next station. Very good. Are there any questions at your new station? You may begin. Nairobi, good arm circles. Good, Torian, be careful. Olea, good ring, good try. Miguel, let me see your jump rope hula hoop. Let me see it. Good, Antavian, Miguel, good. Good try, Torian, good try. Who's going, girls? Let's go, someone go. Good job, Empress. Good job. Isaiah, good arm circles. Good hula hoop, Samaya. All right, those were six hula hoop stations. The kids love hula hoops. Um, that was never my thing, and I can't hula hoop around my waist, but um, the kids love it, and, you know, they obviously like learning it. Uh, my tip 
um, for phys ed class, no matter what it is, is always give feedback. Um, the students love to hear their name when you give feedback, not just hey you or him or her. Um, if you say their name and tell them good job, they absolutely love the praise. Um, try to be detailed in your feedback. I know I, I'm guilty of just saying good job, good job doing this, good job doing that. Um, hula hoop, it's, it's sort of tough um, if you say good job doing your arm circles or nice job um, with big arm circles, but try to be as detailed as you can. That way the other students um, can take that as a learning experience too. Oh, um, Timmy or you know Tommy did a good job doing this. So then they look at the next person um, and they might say, hey, well, uh, you need to do the big arm circles rather than the little arm circles because you heard Mr. Dean say good job to someone for doing that. So um, phys ed advice, give feedback. The students love it. I find a lot of um, better learning experiences when I do um, and also when they receive it. Um, they let you know in different ways um, how they enjoy it.